We've seen quite a bit of sunshine across Trinidad and Tobago, despite the few, few of the showers coming by. But the Atlantic is a pretty tranquil. There is a disturbance, however, brewing in the southwest of the Caribbean Sea. It has been bringing lots of rain to Hispaniola. We'll talk about that over the next uh, few minutes. But out towards the Atlantic, we basically do have an up-level trough out there. But there's a sinking air across uh, the eastern the Caribbean. That dry air is sinking, causing lots of conditions to be really quite tranquil. Meanwhile, the moisture is rising out there in the Atlantic. And obviously, around the ITC, so that's where we see most of the showers but indeed for us where we are in Trinidad and Tobago it's mostly settled and lots of dry weather is likely so looking therefore a lot more sunshine to come especially for northern parts of Tobago out along the main ridge down towards the Scarborough and into Kin, possibility of a shower or two is still likely especially down towards those areas where you will be likely to see the interaction between the southeasterly winds and the hillsides there meanwhile down towards Trinidad again we'll see a few brisk showers overnight into the early hours there's only a slight chance of one or two of those turning heavy, but most of the point uh, we'll likely see is that all of those uh, showers will be coming and going as the day warms. And then as the day cools, you notice a bit more of uh, the uh, bright weather coming out. So any of the showers centering along the uh, central as well as the western areas of Trinidad, down towards San Fernando, as well as Point Lisas into Point Fortin. And scattering of showers is likely, but for the most part, you should be seeing a lot more sunshine as we end our working week, particularly out towards eastern areas of uh, Trinidad. So what does this mean temperature-wise? Under the clear skies, looking at 24 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 25 in Tobago, a high in Tobago of 32, and it will remain quite warm on a Saturday. And then on Sunday and Monday, there will be a weak low-level trough making its presence felt, adding some moisture, also adding the cloudiness and the possibility of a few more showers coming through. But particularly for Trinidad, those showers could again turn heavy, especially towards the western areas as we get towards Monday. Now, for beachgoers, uh, the waves are still out there, one to one and a half meters inshore, two meters for boaters further afield. But you will also notice those shorter easterly swells of eight seconds and these southeasterly winds of 10 to 15 knots. Now, across uh, the Western Caribbean, we're going to be looking at uh, this large area of cloudiness here. It is a disturbance, but it has a low chance of developing. In fact, the area of low pressure is actually towards the north. But that trough is basically a broad area stretching all the way up towards uh, the Hispaniola site, set to bring more flooding rains across there, and then down towards parts of uh, Colombia as well, and eventually possibly pushing through into Venezuela. So it seems as though uh, Jamaica will be out of it, at least for the most part, mostly sunny, only a few brief showers there, out towards Havana again, mostly sunny conditions and a high of 28 degrees Celsius. Now for the eastern Caribbean, it's mostly settled. The dry air continues to sink. We basically are putting a lid on most of the clouds that will produce rain. So mostly sunny conditions for Dominica as well as St. Lucia. Down towards uh, Georgetown and Ghana, a few brief showers are likely, possibly struggling to get 32 degrees Celsius on the boards there. But 32 as well, expected for Barbados under mostly sunny skies. So that's a look at your weather and that's it from me.